Hey guys, it's Payam, and today I'm gonna show you how to record a video in Zoom and then how to edit it so it's a little bit more presentable. So here is a before and after of what you will be learning to do. Now, before we get started, one thing to note is when you are in Zoom, before you even click the record button on the bottom, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you go up to gallery view in the top right before you click record so that you are right next to your subject or whoever you are interviewing. All right, now let's say that you have finished interview, you want to save the Zoom recording. Well, just by default, when you click end meeting, the video is gonna be saved in your documents. So I'm not gonna go through that process, but just be aware that it will be saved in your documents, nested in another folder called Zoom, and then from there you can find the video. All right, so let me now open up Adobe Premiere. Now in Adobe Premiere, what you're gonna wanna do is right click, go to import. And remember I mentioned that the Zoom file is saved in documents. So I'll, I'm already here, but let me just start from documents. I'll click documents and then I'll go to Zoom. I'll go to today's date and then I'll see the Zoom video file here. So I'll click enter or I can click import. So I'll just click import and then the video file will be moved right here. I'll click, drag it into the timeline. And now here is the video of me and my friend. Very basic. This is what it looks like by default. All right. So before I begin anything, the first thing I want to do is clone the video clip. And the reason I want to do that is because right now, any effect that I add onto this clip, it's gonna affect the entire video. And I wanna be able to just affect, for example, I'm noticing that I look dark in that video. So I only wanna brighten up my shot while leaving my friend how he is. What I'll do is I'll right click and I'll click unlink. What that does is it separates the video and the audio because right now they're connected. And then I'll go and I will click option on the keyboard and I'll drag this video file up. All right, now these both have the same file names. They're essentially the same exact video. So even if I go through this, it's gonna look exactly the same. What I'm gonna do here is to make my life a lot easier is I wanna be able to easily distinguish which video corresponds to which person in the video. The simplest way for me to do this is just right click and then I'll go to rename and I'll put left, which corresponds to my friend. And then I'll hit okay. And then for this other clip, I'll right click and then I'll click rename and then I'll just type right. All right, so I know that this is for the left person and this is for the right person, which happens to be me. First step, I need to crop everything but myself. So I'm going to disable the left. So I don't even wanna see this right now and I can disable it by just clicking right here on this eye icon, which makes it so it's not visible. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to effects and I'm gonna look for an effect called crop and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag that into the right video file. The first thing I wanna do is point out that my friend used his phone to jump on this call. And you'll notice that the video dimensions are very different than mine. How do I wanna go about editing this? Do I wanna make my video the same as his in terms of size, width, and height, or vice versa? So in this case, I'm gonna want my video to look like his. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna mess with this crop and try to get it. You see how it just kind of crops everything? And I'm just gonna kind of get it somewhat close. It doesn't need to be perfect right now. I can make adjustments later. So I'll put 60 here, and then I'll go to the top. Maybe I'll bring that up to until I see that it stops cropping. So maybe I'll just do 25, right? I'll leave as is because I'm already at the edge. Or actually, you know what? I'll bring this in a little bit, eight, nine, 10. That's good enough. And then bottom, because I know top was 25, I know that the bottom is gonna be 25 as well. They're usually both the same in a scenario like this. And you'll see now if I turn back on the left, I'm gonna see my friend and me. Now, if I turn off the right, because the left, there were there were no changes made, you're still gonna see both, which is totally fine. We'll take care of that right now. So what I'll do is I'll just bring off the crop effect again to his, to his clip, which is called left. And then I'm going to crop. So I'm gonna just move this all the way. His is a little bit easier because of the gray. So I'll just do that. Maybe I'll just do 65, make it a nice, juicy number to work with. And then I'll go into the left. I'll bring this in a little bit right here. There we go. Top. I remember from the last clip was 25. So it's going to be the same here, 25 and 25. Boom. All right. So now you'll see that if I turn both these on, both are cropped. Now, obviously mine isn't the exact same size as his. Not to worry. We can fix that a little bit later. I just want to show you that what you want to do is have control over each video clip. Now, this is where the magic comes in. So if I go to myself and I see that I look dark, let me clean that up real quick. So I'll go to color and I'll just bring up the exposure 
exposure. And you see how it's just affecting me and not him. This is why you clone the clip in the first place so that you have control like this. So I'm just gonna bring it up right here. That way I just look a little bit brighter. All right, that's done. Now what I wanna do is I wanna look for a nice background image. So a website that I like to use for background images is Canva. And what you're gonna do is once you go to canva.com, you go to create a design and you can either do YouTube thumbnail or custom dimensions. But I know that by default, YouTube's thumbnail, which is 1280 by 720 is the exact dimensions for Zoom. So just a little hint right there for you. So I'll just go ahead and click YouTube thumbnail. It'll give me a nice blank slate to work with. And then I'm gonna go to elements. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go to background actually. And then I'm gonna just look for something that looks juicy. So whatever you really want to be in the background of that video. So let's say I'll just go to, I'll go to this, whatever this is a blue sphere with like a light or something. There you go. And I'll click download. All right, so that's gonna download for me. And then once that's downloaded, I'm gonna go back to Premiere. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go to import, and I'm just gonna bring that in from the download. And then there you go. All right, now that you've imported the background image, you have to understand that in Premiere, everything works in layers. So right now it's the audio layer, and then it's the video layer and then it's another video layer. We need the background image to be underneath the two video layers, which means that it's audio, background image, then me, then my friend, all right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select both of these video clips, bring them up, then I'll bring in the image right underneath, and then I'll just drag it. All right, now here we go. It's me and my friend right next to each other. So that's how you add the background image. Now I wanna frame up both of these so it just look, looks a little bit more enticing and a little bit cleaner. So to do that, you can go to an effect called bevel, bevel edges, and that kind of adds a border. So I'll just do bevel edges thick. I'll go and drag it to the left. You can see here that it added some thickness on the side. But what you're gonna wanna do is just drop down this edge thickness, I think. 0.01 is about right. You see here, I just added a nice little frame for us. And I'm just gonna do that for, for me as well. A trick to copy and paste effects is you can just click this, Command C if you're on a Mac, Control C if you're on Windows to copy, and then I'll click on myself, and then I'll do Command V to paste, or Control V if you're on a Windows, and it's gonna paste, and you can see here that it's already done that. It's added the border right here. So now that I've done that, I'm gonna want to now resize my video so it looks about the same as his, and I'm just gonna eyeball it, so I'll go back to me. I'm gonna bring in this left crop a little bit more. I think that looks about right, and I wanna bring us closer together because right now we're too separated. So what I'll do is I'll just click on me, which is the right. It feels weird saying that, me, right? But you get the idea. And in position here, I'm just gonna drag this a little closer, and then also I'll do it for the left as well. But I, I feel like the size could be a little bit bigger, so I'm just gonna maybe put 125 on the scale. I think that looks better. And then I'll come over here and I'll go on the scale, 125, bring that in. And there you go, all right? So now we're both here, we're both talking. I'm just gonna click mute on the audio so you can kind of see how it looks. Uh, so you see here that you're not gonna hear anything because I clicked mute, which is this button here, the M. But you'll see now that it just looks a little more presentable, looks a little bit more enticing. So last step here now is going to be just adding some text. So here you can add who the name of the person you, you interviewed or you can add anything really that you want. So in this case, I'm just gonna click this T or type tool icon and then I'm going to click in the program area. I'll just type in, are you good at basketball? And then here I can drag down the text just a little bit so it's a nice size. And then I'll just bring that down. And there you have it. And then I'll just bring this text so it stays along the entire video. And now we have a Zoom interview that just looks a little bit better. Doesn't look as meh. And it looks like you put a little effort and thought into it. And again, the key thing here to remember is you wanna make sure that you clone the video clip as many times as you have subjects in that video. So in this case, I only cloned it once because I only have one more subject, all right? I hope that makes sense. I'm not really sure if I said that correctly, but you get the idea. So whether you have three or four people, you just wanna clone it three or four times. Again, it just allows you to have that complete control over what you are editing, which makes your life a lot easier. That is how you record a video in Zoom, and that's how you edit it in Premiere to make it a little more presentable. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it showed you how to use Zoom and Adobe premiere if you enjoyed it if it did provide any insight or tips i'd appreciate it if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications to stay tuned for more content coming very soon talk to you guys soon bye